In this unit, we'll be talking about the use of information and communication technology in everyday life. What is ICT? ICT is an acronym that stands for Information Communications Technology. A good way to think about ICT is to consider all the uses of digital technology that already exist to help individuals, businesses, and organizations to use information. ICT covers any product that will store, retrieve, manipulate, transmit, or receive information electronically in a digital form. For example, personal computers, digital televisions, emails, robots, and so on. So we can say that ICT is concerned with the storage, retrieval, manipulation, transmission, and receipt of digital data. Importantly, it is also concerned with the way these different uses can work with each other. Look at these photographs. Think about how ICT could be used in the situations shown on these photos. On the photo in the upper left corner, you can see an ATM. ATM stands for Automatic Teller Machine. Think about how ATMs work. Computers store information about the amount of money held by each client and enable staff to access large databases and to carry out financial transactions at high speed. They also control the automatic cash dispensers, or ATMs, which, by the use of a personal coded card, dispense money to clients. On the photo in the upper right corner, you can see students learning with the support of ICT. Think about how ICT can be used in the process of education and learning. Computers can help students perform various operations and solve difficult questions. They can be used to access the Internet, teach courses such as computer-aided design, language learning, programming, mathematics, and so on. Computers are also used for administrative purposes. For example, schools use databases and word processors to keep records of students, teachers, and materials. On the photo in the bottom left corner, you can see an air traffic control tower. Think about how ICT can be used to control air traffic. Airline pilots use computers to help them control the plane. For example, monitors display data about fuel consumption and weather conditions. In airport control towers, computers are used to manage radar systems and regulate air traffic. On the ground, airlines are connected to travel agencies by computers. Travel agents use computers to find out about the availability of flights, prices, times, stopovers, and many other details. On the photo in the bottom right corner, you can see a bicycle race. How could ICT be used in this situation? Race organizers and journalists rely on computers to provide them with the current positions of riders and teams in both the particular stages of the race and in the overall competition. Workstations in the race buses provide the timing system and give up-to-the-minute timing information to TV stations. In the press room, several pieces give real-time information on the state of the race. Computer databases are also used in the drug detecting tests for competitors. What can computers do? Computers and microchips have become part of our everyday lives. We visit shops and offices which have been designed with the help of computers. We read magazines which have been produced on computer. We pay bills prepared by computers. Just picking up a telephone and dialing a number involves the use of a sophisticated computer system, as does making a flight reservation or bank transaction. We encounter daily many computers that spring to life the instant they are switched on. 
for example, calculators, the car's electronic ignition, the timer in the microwave, or the programmer inside the TV set, all of which use chip technology. What makes your computer such a miraculous device? Each time you turn it on, it is a tabula rasa that with appropriate hardware and software is capable of doing anything you ask. It is a calculating machine that speeds up financial calculation. It is an electronic filing cabinet which manages large collections of data such as customers' lists, accounts or inventories. It is a personal communicator that enables you to interact with other computers and with people around the world. If you like gadgets and electronic entertainment, you can use your computers to relax with computer games, watching videos, TV shows, listening to music, and so on. Think about what can computers do in the following areas. Factories, cars, entertainment, and hospitals. Write down your ideas. Another task you have is to write an essay presenting your opinion about the advantages and disadvantages of using computers. You can send both papers, one about the uses of computers in the mentioned areas and another one about the advantages and disadvantages of using computers to iris at edu.fit.ba for a review.